Yeah. All right. That's my girl. That's <laughs> my girl. <laughs> so we're using motion principles with something that used to be scary. Good. Notice my dog is very short to the ground. We are not going to throw it through triple jumps and put her spine in the bind. All we want to do is get an ebb and flow. Good. With obstacles that are scary, with punctuation. Good. Off of this, we're going to introduce stay brakes. And send her. You ready? Good girl! And then start to work a one piece recall with the wrapper. Good. But right now, where we want to be is go, go, go through, and then a pause of any kind. Good girl. But it's a man. Good girl. So this will be my last one. I'm going to make my 180. Put the left step off. Good. Now I'm going to drag it on around. Good girl to a finished position. Good job. Excellent. Excellent. Can't wait to set this up for the children. Good. Nice my girl. Off the Hey. Excellent. And good morning from Wickersham Canine Ranch in beautiful Marshall, North Carolina. Today. We've got Violet Franklin working on her Canine Good Citizens uh, reintegration workout. So test one must be able to approach, hand off something, and for her to remain in position. So beautiful, last call, two and three. And here we go, what a good girl. Test complete. Good girl. So here we are on test two, and we've got Violet in a sit-stay. We've communicated with her sign language. I have to ask the question, may I pet your dog? Yes, sir. I'm going to love her up from underneath. I take my hands off. The handler gives a signal. Test complete. All through. Good girl. Good. Good girl. Test number three is going to be appearance and grooming. What I'd like for you to do is just bring Violet up uh, to the table. Give her a stand uh, command. By the good stand. Well, stand. Approach from a perpendicular angle, and I have to inspect the dog. We use a five point, two, three, four, and five. Good. a girl. Great condition. Excellent. Test complete. Good girl. Good girl. Sit. Good girl. All right, so we're gonna do test number four, which is out on a loose leash walk. I'm gonna call a cadence, are you ready? Yes, sir. Forward. Mm -hmm. Left turn. Mm -hmm. About right turn. Mm -hmm. Good. Nice. Right turn. Mm -hmm. Good. And finish. Pilot, sit. Good girl. Test complete. Awesome. Come on. So we're going to do test number five, out for a walk in a crowd situation. We have Denali Allen and myself, I'm going to figure eight. Good. Looking good. Good. Yep. Fantastic. Good girl. Good girl. And finish when you're ready. Violet, sit. Good. Good. Test complete. Good girl. So we're going to do test number six. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you bring Violet over to the soft area and issue a sit command. Violet. Violet. Good girl. Good. Sit. Good, Good. girl. Stay. 
leave your dog. It's going to be an instruction. We'll get a five count. I'm going to say, return to your dog. Good girl. Then I'm going to ask you to down your dog. Good decision. I like it. Hold it. Good girl. Then I'm going to ask you to leave your dog. Nice, flat. Love it. Give him a five count. Submissive lick, great head position. We return to her. Task complete, fire that release. Nice tone. So next what we're gonna do is coming when called. So I want you to assemble her into the stay area. Good. I'd like for you to leave your dog. Great signal, great step off. And then I'm going to ask that you call your dog. Violet. Good. Love you one piece. Good. That a Good girl. girl. Test complete. All three. Nice tone, nice tone. All right, so we have Violet and Bryce Patrick assembled. We have Denali Allen and myself. We're simulating reaction to another dog test eight. Command cue is going to be to heel forward with the left step. We'll get to about 10, 12 foot, we'll throttle down. I'm gonna shake mine out, I want mine in the stand. This is in a sit stay, we must be close enough to interact and move on without the dog crossing the toe line or going wild and crazy for your critter. Task complete, let's move on. So we're gonna do reaction to a distraction number nine. You are looking so good, Miss Franklin. I would like for you to assemble Throw your leash down, step on it where the ground meets, good. And now I'm gonna say hands on for a pet. And then hands off for a second. Hands on for a pet. Hands off for a second. Third final pet. And then we're gonna make a loud noise. Make sure that she's not shy or aversive. We see her tail still wagging. Test complete, we move on. Good girl. All right, so test 10, we're gonna use supervised separation. I want you to bring Violet to me. Absolutely. Then you're gonna disappear behind the blind. We should be able to give her a light shake to let her know that she's tethered. And then we're gonna make sure she doesn't whine, pull on the leash become overly exuberant, fearful, when she's separated from her handler. I love it. She's actually gathering a, a skin cells at this point, sell the flare of the jowl. We ignore the dog till we get past his butt. Test complete. All right, Violet, good. All right, I need you to come on down to about 12, 15 foot. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a loop with our induction and lesson three out of basics where we are beginning to assemble and send the dog away. You ready? I know, me too. Friend. She gives her reward and some touch. We're gonna condition to the same way as we did before. Violet, leave it. Heal. Good girl. She does her one piece. We reward our puppy. We're gonna send her, friend. I said my girl. So I could call her out, leave it, heal. Whee! Good job, that's my girl. Third and final so we can remember it forever. Friend. Good, leave it, heal. And you see, elapsed time between each successive rep gets shorter and shorter. We gotta make sure on the after three, we ebb it down a little bit and then send her one more time. Friend. And last one. Violet, leave it, heel. Woo wee, good girl. We're also working on off leash motion. Good, and don't forget that each and every time after we do a set, we're gonna go back on lead, we're gonna shake it out. Good, and then we're gonna go to our workstation. Let's go. To the soft area and let's go tracking. Woo
All right, so I'm going to do my introduction. Porter hands it to the handler. Good. Good. Dog honors. That's good. Try to use nothing but body motion and target sounds and praise. Take a knee. Good. Hands on the butt. Love it. Good job, you two. Two more. Yep. Yep. So this is a cooperative play. We notice the dog's butt goes on the ground to orientate it. Good. And so he's holding on to the object, allowing the puppy to get deep into her molars. Nice.